morning, 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 morning. Well, today was the first day back to school for thousands of Minnesota kids. Minnesota Governor Mark Dayton welcomed kids back at uh, class at Meadow Lake Elementary in New Hope this morning. He was especially excited to talk about the four-year-olds in Minnesota who are going to free school-based pre-kindergarten programs this year and those who are getting early learning scholarships. The Minnesota legislature approved more funding for pre-K this past spring. The priority of these little boys and girls are coming in today. It's not about all adults. It's not about the politics of the legislature and who might give money to which candidate. It's about what's good for these four-year-olds coming in here. And so the next year when they come, five-year-olds are already already in the school loop. That's what matters, and that's what we got to keep sight of. And, of course, most students take the bus to school. Yes, but this fall, the St. Paul School District is trying something new to improve student safety and behavior on the bus. New at 5, Angela Davis tells us about the pilot program that puts seatbelts on a bus. Or you have here and here and here. This is the future. Yeah, that's my prediction. The transportation director for St. Paul Public Schools is taking the lead on what's been a widely debated topic. You get in the car, there's seatbelts, so why aren't there seatbelts on school buses? And it's been talked about in our industry for years. This fall, the school district is installing seatbelts that go across the shoulder and lap on one of its new buses, but not until mid-October. That's because they want six weeks to observe students without the seatbelts so they can compare it to six weeks of them wearing the restraints. They'll study video from bus cameras. The most difficult things in the school bus industry is to keep, especially little ones, seated. This solves the issue because if they're buckled up, they're not going to be moving around. Improved technology has made seat belts better at protecting kids from side impact crashes. Nationally, only a handful of states require seat belts on large school buses. In those states, they say they've seen an added benefit of being strapped in, better student behavior. If you can imagine a four or five year old, they can't even see outside of this compartment. Um, so they're just naturally ten a tendency to move around, look around. Buses are extremely safe. They're the safest transportation on the road. However, this just adds another dimension of safety. Angela Davis, WCCO4 News. Angela says that the interior of a school bus is already designed to provide crash protection through closely situated high seats capable of absorbing force. It costs about $10,000 to put seat belts in one school bus. If the pilot goes well, the district will add seat belts to more of its buses.